Hey, Randy here with Canadian Energy. Our topic today is panel racking and mounting. So the first consideration for panel racking and mounting would be choosing a location. The location obviously has to be free of, of any shading, any trees or anything like that. So that's going to be one thing that you, you really want to consider strongly as to where, where the panels are mounting. They definitely need to be free and clear of, of shading so they get maximum sun harvest. So mounting on sloped roof would be the most common type of panel mounting. Typically the, the racking is, is affixed directly into the, uh, through the shingles uh, on the slope roof. So essentially your panels are gonna be at the same slope of your roof. You're typically not gonna change the angle of those panels. One thing to consider when, when mounting onto a slope roof with shingles is, are the shingles fairly new? Uh, those shingles, you know, you don't want to have to replace them in a couple of years and pull all your, your racking and mounting off of there. The third uh, mounting would be very similar, would be fixed mounting on flat roof. Um, this, this is more common on industrial buildings, uh, but typically on, on flat roofs, you're going to uh, be able to change the angle of your panel so that you can maximize uh, the, sun, the sun angle on them. And the last type of mounting would be solar trackers. So with solar trackers, uh, what they do is they follow the sun from morning till night. So normally uh, they're going to start facing east in the morning and they're going to follow the sun throughout the day till it sets in the west. They have settings on them for to deal with, with high wind load, uh, to dump snow. So again, you're going to get maximum um, production out of your solar panels if you've got a tracker, but again, you have something else to maintain there. That's it for today on solar racking and mounting.